The tech wreck rages on with the sector now down 7% in October alone. Our Bob Bassani joins us from the NYSE with more on that. Hey, Bob. Hello, Melissa. China worries. You've got higher costs. You've got other margin pressures. You've got higher rates. It's all coming together to make it a very ugly month for tech investors. Take a look. The biggest damage sector-wise is in the semiconductor space, where big names like NVIDIA and AMD, they're all down double digits, as you can see here. But hardware, it's not doing much better. Corning and Fitbit and Seagate down 8 to 11 percent. Apple relatively unscathed, down only about 5 percent. Software is only marginally better, so you got your Oracles, your Adobe's into it down in the high single digits. Now, a new issue developed today that may be important, may not be. Saudi Arabia's increasing isolation as Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin pulled out of a conference in Saudi Arabia. Tech investors have pointed out all throughout the day that the Saudis are very large investors in technology, including tech funds run by SoftBank. And there are concerns now that they may withdraw from such involvement in technology if their isolation increases. Just another thing to worry about. Semiconductors all drooped on that news. And the NASDAQ 100 was among the biggest index decliners on the day, now down 7% for the month. Back to you, Melissa. All right, Bob. Thanks. Bob Pisani at the NYSE. So what do we do here? Pretty bad action. It's, it, yeah, it's not great action. Again, people are just stepping away from it. And I think the Saudi Arabia angle is kind of interesting. And going back to what Goldman Sachs does, you think about it. Hmm. If there aren't going to be a lot of venture capital investment, what's the exit play for venture capital? It's an IPO. It's banking. So if that starts to pull back, and I've heard this from people in Silicon Valley, that they're concerned. If you get less venture capital investment, there's less deals coming through the pipeline, worse for Stocks like Goldman Sachs. And then there's the data points that we're just getting now, real time, like Taiwan Semi overnight. Taiwan Semi had some issues. They're saying demand for the chips. One fifth of their revenue is from Apple. Yeah. Uh, and then they're, that's softening. Well, I think that, you know, the issue with semiconductors is that it's highly cyclical. And we know that there was actually a lot of pull through from the first half of the year, right? So this is one of the reasons why this group in particular did top out back in March. And we've seen a series of lower lows um, and lower highs. And, and, you know, if I look at the SMH, which touched 95, I think, at the lows last Thursday and in the, in the throes of this sell off, um, it's at 95. 96 and a half right now. That wasn't such a heck of a bounce. Um, and so I'll just make one other point. You know, NVIDIA is the sentiment leader in that space. That stock started the year just below 200. It got to just below 300 a few months ago. And now it's down 17 percent in a straight line in a couple of weeks. So if you start losing sentiment leaders like that, that's one you really want to keep an eye on. Then this this space is, is toast.